Mike, do you know what you found? No. Say it. Cloisonne. Cloisonne. <laughs> Hi guys, it's One Way Vintage. That's Julie and that guy Mike. We're here at the uh, Goodwill and we only have 25 minutes. So we're going to do a, a quick dash into the store, see what we can find. Come along with us. Good job, Mike. First item in the cart is this Andrea by Sadek little ceramic bear figurine. This looks like a Tonala teapot, but unmarked. And I am not going to pick up unmarked or unsigned ones. They just don't have as much value when they're unsigned. 15 minutes. Okay, what did you find, Mike? Found a fish. A fish? Okay. $2.99. Pass on the shoe. Maybe it was ceramic. Pass on the shoe. Well, it has velvet on it. I got a carrot salt shaker. Um, pass. Uh, I'm gonna look at that. Is it glass? Yes. It's kind of cute. In the ball. Star Wars. See the X-Wing going through? Uh-huh. And it's uh, one of those mazes that mm -hmm. you take the ball. I kind of like it. Mike, I found poo on the shelf. You found poo? Is this cute? I found this mail and key rack that I thought was kind of cute for $4.99. Cottage core, no? Okay, that I actually can use for my project. Oh, it only has a single hole. It's a salt. Well, I think it might be the pepper. No, pepper has the sprinkle, the more sprinkle. Oh yeah, you're right. I'll take this though. It's half off too. Mike, do you know what you found? No. Say it, cloisonne. Cloisonne. <laughs> The glass is a pretty color. Is it vintage? I don't know. But the color is very eye-catching. So I think someone would would love this. Mike, I found a Christmas pickle. Mike, pull the pickle out of the bag so I can see. Oh no, that's a shiny pickle. I'm getting that for 99 cents. All right. Okay, so here's what we were able to do in 20 minutes in the Goodwill. So is. first I have this cool vintage, I'm going to call it cottage core <laughs> key and mail holder with a cute little design there. I, I really didn't have time to look a lot of things up, so I went with gut instinct on this, but um, it's probably worth about 25 bucks. How much did I pay? Five. Five, okay. Next. It was the color of this one that got me. I don't come across this color glass very often. I think it's sellable because of its pretty color and it possibly is vintage. How much did I pay? $5. $5 and I think I will put that at a 25, 20 to $25 price tag as well. Mike fanned me a little um, salt shaker for a, for a project that I'm working on, which I did need a little Christmas one. Still coming up in another video, what the heck I'm doing with these lonely salt and pepper shakers okay mike found a do you remember no <laughs> cloisonne cloisonne <laughs> don't even try to say that again for 3.99 cloisonne. again maybe 20 25 dollars on this again it's pretty mike found these little penguin family figurines the cashier said he brought this out on the floor and the young man thought it was very cute and he was glad that we got it. How much did we pay? Three dollars. Three dollars, probably about a 12 to 14 dollar item. And I'm a sucker for cheap glass fish and I just have a collection of them going which I'll probably lot up but we might have 
overpaid a tiny bit on this, $2.99, but usually I can get about 10 to 12 bucks for the lower quality ones because this one, actually, mm -hmm. th this one might be better made than I, than I thought yeah, in the store. Now that I'm out in the light, polished it might bottom. have a polished bottom. Oh, I actually think it does. it does. Yeah, so this guy might be more like a $15, $20 fishy. Good job, fish. We'll check for a signature later too. This is a Pioneer Woman bowl. I have a Pioneer Woman collection going, which I'm also going to be lotting up soon as well. I love Pioneer, Pioneer Woman things. This is an Andrea by Sadik vintage bear figurine. And I just thought it was cool with the blue and white and Probably again about a $15 item paid four bucks. Go ahead, Mike. Show off your is that a Death Star? This is a Death Star uh, maze, marble maze that you go through, and it has the uh, X Wing that comes through when you spin the uh, R2D2 top around and spins around. And it's I a... think if you solve this, it blows up. Okay. It's a rare day that that guy Mike's not wearing some sort of Star Wars gear. So is that for you or to sell? Maybe. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> I don't. And uh, who else does it need a Christmas pickle? I, I love it. I love it so much. We, that, it's and, right next and to the 90, star. And 99 cents? And it was 99 cents. I, I love it so much. It's my favorite item of the day. Everybody needs a little Christmas pickle. Yep. We with with all that we paid thirty two dollars. Quick decisions might be bad decisions. And I value our haul at about one hundred to one hundred and fifty bucks. What do you think? It's a Christmas pickle. It's like a conundrum, but a Christmas pickle. If you see something you like, please email us at onewayvintageoc at gmail.com. Of course, if you're in the Las Vegas area, visit our booth at the Good Stuff Thrift Store, spaces 2 and 16. And if you're new or visiting again, please subscribe. It means so much to us. And as always, stay tuned for blue at the end of every video. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy Cause I'll understand